After you drag and drop an instrument on a track, you'll see that the instrument shows up on the instrument output here. This tab essentially tells the MIDI data where it's supposed to go. The MIDI data is inputted from the MIDI controller or a recorded MIDI sequence where it can be edited and quantized, and then that MIDI data goes to the assigned software instrument that you select from here. Another way to view this is in the inspector. You can get there by clicking here or by pressing F4. Down here, you'll see a channel strip with volume, pan, mute, solo, arm for record and input monitoring, as well as effects inserts and effects sends. You can reset most controls in Studio One by holding Command and clicking on them. You can select your MIDI instrument input here, and you can select your MIDI output here. Now, dragging and dropping instruments from the browser is not the only way to add instruments. You can add instruments to your song without even creating an instrument track, and it's important to understand that an instance of a software instrument is not the same thing as an instrument track. The instrument tracks just store MIDI data as MIDI regions or events, and then they send that MIDI data over to the instruments. Now, another way to add instruments is to open up the mix console by clicking here, or you can toggle this by pressing F3. Now you'll see the instrument track that we selected before with the Mai Tai assigned to it. And if you click this button here, you can show a list of all of your instruments in your song. So right now it's just the Mai Tai instrument we selected and assigned in the previous video. If you click on the plus button, you can add an additional instrument. So I'll go to the Personas folder, and this time let's add the Presence XT instrument. And I'll choose a Presence Studio Grand Piano preset. Now you'll notice when I play my MIDI controller, it's still playing the Mai Tai instrument, and I don't even have an option to arm or input monitor the presence instrument I just created. And that's because it has to have MIDI input coming into it from the output from an instrument track. If I change the output on my instrument track up here from Mai Tai to presence, now we'll hear the piano. So what if I wanted to layer both of these instruments together and play them from a single instrument track? What I'll do is hit the plus button here and create a multi-instrument. And then what I'll do is drag the presence instrument on top of this and the Mai Tai instrument on top of this. And then make sure that multi-instrument is selected from the instrument output up here. And you can see in the multi-instrument window that both the Mai Tai instrument and the presence instrument are both here. I'll do a more in-depth overview of multi-instruments in a later video, but I wanted to show you the basics of this now. Let's add an effect to this multi-instrument. So on my inserts here, I'll click on the plus button, I'll go down to Personas, and let's add a delay. Let's add the beat delay, and I'll set this to an eighth note dotted delay. So there's my combined multi-instrument of Mai Tai, Presence, as well as this beat delay. So let's say I wanted to save this multi-instrument as a preset that I can recall later or use in other songs. Well, you can do that too. Just click here and go down to Store Preset. So I'll call this Synth Piano Delay 18D for an eighth note dotted pattern, and then just hit OK. So just to demonstrate this, I'll remove my current multi-instrument. So now I have an instrument track with no output assigned to it. And you can select the preset we just saved from the multi-instruments folder under the instruments tab, and you'll see that it pops up right down here, synth piano delay eighth note. And I can drag and drop this right on top of my instrument track, and it pulls up my preset that I just created. Now I'm ready to record. I'll turn on my metronome down here. Uh, you can also toggle this by pressing C. And if you wanna count in, you can click here, or you can toggle this by pressing shift C. Then I'll just press asterisk on my number pad to record. and then just press spacebar to stop the recording. You can press the period button on your number pad to return the playhead to the beginning. And then you can use the W and E keys to zoom horizontally. So that's how you can load up instruments, combine instruments into a multi-instrument, save presets, and record MIDI.